All right, we're here. We made it inside the park. We're gonna go to the visitor center now, suss out this shuttle bus situation and why one of the roads is closed as well. So. Haley's on the wine already. Look at that. That was Haley. She got that out. Uh, we're gonna get the shuttle up to one of the lookouts, maybe, and just walk around and get the last shuttle back, probably. Take some, take some photos. Work out what's up there. See how we feel. So we're about to get the last shuttle back now. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Find somewhere to sleep. Yeah, should be good. And make a plan for tomorrow. And the day after, and the day after. Uh, it's about 6.30 in the morning, mountain time. And I'm heading up to the Valley Overlook to see if there's a sunrise photo. It started to rain now in the valley, so I've got all my waterproof gear on. With any luck, the clouds will break up a little bit and it'll give me a nice sunrise. Alrighty, made it to the top of uh, Valley Lookout. A few, uh, <laughs> there's a couple of sheep and a couple of interesting animals on the path. Sun's just starting to come up now, so that's going to be great timing. And we're just going to wait for these mountains behind me to eliminate. <laughs> All right, time to set up. Sorry about the wind. There's not too much I can do about it. So the setup this morning is pretty simple. There's not a strong horizon light, so I don't have any graduated ND filters on. The usual bracket exposure, just in case I get something wrong. And I'm just looking straight down the valley view. Uh, onto that large sandstone wall on the opposite side, which is starting to illuminate. That's pretty good. Uh, don't think there's gonna be a sunrise, there's just too much cloud cover. So what I might do is make it back to the car and head further east in the park to try and get some photographs of uh, some different sandstones. Started walking back and have a look at that behind me. I was literally about five minutes away from the spot that I was, no, less, maybe two minutes and I just sprinted back here for that shot there. Incredible, it looks like it's raining and that the rain is being illuminated by the sky, by the sun. So that was, hands down, the best sunrise I've ever seen. It was raining on the horizon and it was just illuminated by that sunshine. Incredible. I don't know why I left early. I think because 
there's so much to photograph here. I wanted to make sure I gave everything due time, but that almost cost me that sunrise. Oh, I'm really hoping those photos come out because I think they look incredible on the LCD. I'm usually very patient as well, so I don't know what happened this time. I think one of the big factors for me leaving early just then was I got the timings wrong. Uh, like I got my sunset and sunrise timing wrong. So when I was checking my phone, I was like, oh, well, apparently sunrise is over. I could see some color, some color came in, but then the color faded. So I thought that was the sunrise, so. Now I know for tomorrow. So pretty much where I wanna go is up on that grassy ridge and walk along back to the village. And that way I should get a nice view of the setting sun on the sandstone wall that we've camped near.